Hey guys, Jeremy Games here, and I'm here today, guys, with uh, F1 2012 gameplay for you guys. This is on the Interlago circuit, the Brazilian Grand Prix, which seems fitting as it's the last race of the season at Brazil, well, in Brazil, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Final race of the season, championship comes to an end for another year, and uh, I have to find someone else to do for four months until the next. Uh, next season starts. So in this video guys, I'm basically just going to be talking about driver moves, uh, retirements and stuff like that. Uh, just ran some stuff up because quite a lot has happened in the last few days and I thought I'd like to cover it. So first of all, this gameplay, I'm in a Mercedes, driving as Michael Schumacher. Uh, wanted to do that as tribute because I uh, didn't know Michael Schumacher is retiring from Formula 1. Pop pretty much permanently now because he's uh, a lot older than he was when he signed back for Mercedes, back into Formula 1, came out of retirement, so uh, I think this is the end of Michael Schumacher in Formula 1. It's going to be quite emotional, I think, because he's a true legend of the sport, true legend in Formula 1, and will be remembered um, it for many years to come. Um, also, I, I'm sure pretty much all of you who are into your F1 know, Lewis Hamilton's gone to Mercedes, Perez is filling his seat at McLaren due to because, uh, you know, Schumacher's leaving Mercedes, so Lewis has taken his place there. Um, but now on to the more interesting ones, uh, a bit lower down the grid. So, um, if you didn't know, Nico Hulkenberg has uh, signed for Sauber um, in place of Perez. Um, so, there's a free seat of Force India, um, but officially Force India haven't said but either of their drivers for next year, but I do believe that Paul De Resta will get drive because he's had a great season, he's had a great few races throughout the season, so I think he should get a seat at Force India. So there's one seat spare at Force India, and uh, possible people who could fit that, uh, fit the bill, could possibly be Bruno Senna because uh, Williams haven't confirmed their driver lineup. Maldonado will probably be staying, I'd say, because he's done an amazing job, you know, got my race win uh, back earlier in the season. Uh, so Bruno Senna, is, uh, his job is in the firing line. He could go to Force India, as could um, Heike Kovalainen, um, because he is probably going to be out of a drive, uh, because uh, Char Peak used to race for Marussia, has signed for Caterham, and Caterham are probably going to keep Vitaly Petrov as a driver, because he has a lot of sponsors from Russia. Uh, so... Um, and there's rumour going around that peak seat will be filled in by Max Chilton, the uh, young British driver, which would be good for Formula 1 to have another British driver in, but uh, that has not been confirmed at all yet. So uh, Kovalainen could possibly not have a drive, so he could possibly have the seat uh, at Force India. I think that would be a great lineup uh, at Force India. Uh, in my opinion, but let me know down in the comments, guys. Uh, Lotus haven't confirmed whether uh, Roman Grosjean will be driving for them again. I'm, again, they, I can't really see anyone else going to Lotus, so Kimi Raikkonen confirmed that he's staying there. Uh, also, um, Kamui Kobayashi of uh, Sauber has been just take his drive been taken away from him and he's being replaced by Esteban Gutierrez the Sauber third driver um, he's coming into the team he's been at the team a while so he's getting a proper drive so Sauber have a brand new lineup for next season um, yeah Esteban Gutierrez in a young 21 year old Mexican I think he's uh, gonna be a prospect for the future definitely if you Want to read up more about Esteban Gutierrez? You can check out the Sky Sports F1 website. They have loads of stuff on there about all this. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much all the moves that are going down. Uh, Paul De Resta, uh, well, I'm going to say my lineups for next, next season. I think it, Force India will be Paul De Resta and either Heike Kovalainen or Bruno Senna. If Senna doesn't get a driver at Williams, which I think he might do. Um, but it depends if Williams want to give Valtteri Bottas a drive for next year. So, um, yeah, I'll bring you guys more updates uh, on this uh, on this kind of news, like moves throughout the winter break, because that's when they will be finalised, or uh, by the end of Brazil, they will be finalised. So I will do another video soon. I'll probably do another video 
closer to the start of next season about the confirmed driver lineups for every single team and talk you through them fully and stuff. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a full season review, uh, talking about every race, maybe do like three races in one episode or something, have several parts. Uh, let me know what you think of that idea uh, down in the comment section below, guys. I, was, I would appreciate that quite a lot. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching. This gameplay is going to overrun majorly, so uh, I think I'll leave it to play. Um, yeah, if you want to come up, click off the video when I finish talking, then that's cool. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video guys, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. And um, I'll see you in a video soon. See you in a bit guys. Bye.